hello guys what's going on in this tutorial i want to uh, dockerize our previous project so in the previous project we created uh, a django app uh, actually a simple django app that has just one uh, model uh, product model and we created crowd operation uh, on that uh, model so we created a uh, app model and then we created product model and then uh, also we created serializers for uh, that model and then we created a product view set and then we register a product route on uh, that view set so we then in the uh, last we tested our apis or our endpoints by postman application and uh, created some uh, objects or core docs and then uh, listed them and updated them and also uh, deleted them so we uh created uh, simple crowd operations on that model and in this video i want to uh, uh dockerize the uh, project so uh i actually i uh, created a, a medium article about this tutorial and I will put the link of this tutorial on the video description so go ahead and check uh, this article so I uh, wrote about the uh, benefits of using uh, docker in our project and why I think uh, it uh, will be better to dockerize our project so uh, you need to install docker and docker compost in your machine and then uh, we need to create some files uh, most of them uh, most uh, important of them are these three files docker file docker compost and docker ignore uh, and there are also uh, some uh, uh, files that we need to create so okay uh, let's go ahead and start uh, with uh, removing this directory we don't need uh, it anymore and so i already created a docker file as you can see and a docker compose file and i also uh, create docker ignore file so um, i will put the database here so let's let me start with uh, docker ignore so what is docker ignore docker, docker ignore uh, is a specific file that docker uh, will use for uh, defining files that uh, will be ignored for uh, copying uh, from host to uh, container so uh, files that uh, uh, are listed in this uh, file uh, will be ignored for copying from host to uh, our containers uh, I also uh, created .env file and uh, requirements file and uh, 
so uh, the only thing that I need uh, to set up in uh, this project is uh, using docker compose uh, up command so uh, what what it tries to do is uh, set up our services we define it our services in a docker compose file uh, so we have a shop db and shop api services and uh, you you also can see the logs of the services so uh, shop api uh, successfully started but shop db uh, exited with uh, a bit error and uh, the error uh, says us that uh, you should uh, provide uh, a password for your database in the environment so i'm going ahead and uh, put this password uh, uh, or random see random uh, string into this file and uh, let me try again uh, as you can see uh, a database successfully started and uh, it uh, writes that database system is ready to accept connections uh, and also our uh, shop API service uh, started successfully and listen in the AT port on the container uh, but we mapped uh, that port to uh, I think uh, 1960 1960 uh, so uh, I actually I think uh, I can uh, get the uh, actually I uh, uh, we didn't uh, migrate database uh, yet uh, so we created new database for uh, our uh, project and we did not uh, and we will not use uh, uh, DBS light anymore so there is need to uh, there is uh, uh, I should uh, specify uh, settings for uh, database so in the uh, this section I will uh, add the Postgres database uh, settings okay now i i change the database settings so we can use a new database uh, type uh, we will use postgres database and the password was secret and uh, when we save the file uh, we see that uh, we have an error here and the error says uh, uh, we did not install uh, uh, this package so So I go ahead and add this package to requirements.txt file and then I need to stop containers and uh, rebuild uh, uh, containers. So uh, by using um, build argument 
uh, or option uh, I will try to uh, install uh, that new package and then we will check if the problem uh, is solved Okay, now we rebuild the uh, uh, a backend uh, or shop API uh, image. So we now we have a p cycle pg package in that image, and but uh, we have another error here, and that is related to uh, the um, service name so our database service name or container name is shop db so probably we have have not any uh, error and we solved the error error so okay now we're going to uh, migrate uh, our database our migrations so we have new database and we need to uh, migrate the old migration files and in order to that i will go ahead and I will go to I will uh, what I uh, should do is going going to uh, container of uh, shop API and then migrate uh, migrations so. Uh, think shop API dash, and then I will use manage.py for migrate a uh, migration. As you can see, we successfully migrated our database and now i think uh, we can uh, delete our old database and now we can test our api so uh, uh, it seems that everything works so actually 90 16 so i created new object and then i can list the existing objects and uh, everything works and so in this tutorial uh, we created the uh, two service uh for our project uh, we created a shop db service for our postgres database and a shop api service for our backend or our django application in the next tutorial i will going to use celery tasks for asynchronous uh process and with that tutorial we have a knowledge about celery and how we can set up them uh, in a django project and how we can use them i hope you enjoyed this tutorial bye